Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kurt Newman, the president and CEO of Children's National. This is exactly what he does at home. He tries to beat Malia and Sasha to my lap. This is one of my favorite things to do during the holidays is coming to the Children's Hospital to see all of you. And I want to thank my escorts, Jordan and AJ. You guys are awesome. You did a fabulous job escorting me here. I made it. Well done. And of course, we have Santa Claus, who is really the star of the show. And then there's Bo, <laughs> who is the big baby in the room. So I'm going to read a Christmas favorite, Twas the Night Before Christmas. How many people have heard this? All right, this is the story of when Santa comes to visit. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. How many people are going to go to sleep on time when it's Christmas Eve? <laughs> So you know Santa doesn't come unless you go to sleep, right? You gotta be fast asleep. You've gotta be nestled all snug in your bed. All right, we got that. And mama in her kerchief, her hat, and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. Does everybody know what they want for Christmas? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You're not gonna ask for a lot of stuff, are you? You t you're going to ask for a lot of stuff? <laughs> just, a, just a few things. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang to the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. What do you think he heard? Santa and his reindeer. Debbie, you know this story. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. See them by the moonlight? This is what happens on Christmas when you're asleep. Santa shows up with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. It is Santa Claus. You were absolutely correct. More rapid than eagles, his coursers, they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, do you know the names of the reindeers? Now Dasher. Now Dasher. Now Dancer. Now, now Prancer and Vixen. On. On. Cupid. On Donder and Blitzen. You see, Bo? All right. Maybe you can see. Yes, yeah, see. You see? <laughs> All right. I, th I think he's seen them. Oh, here's a close-up picture of the reindeers. All right. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all as dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly. That's poetry. <laughs> when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses, they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. He's right there. Oh, well, this, you know, we're talking, he knows the end of this story. <laughs> he knows the end of this story. And then in a twinkle, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof as I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. Why do you think it was a bound? Because St. Nick is a, it's a little hefty. <laughs> he, he was jolly, exactly. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. Why do you think his clothes were dirty? Down down the chimney. That's it. That's why today he's very clean. 
no ch a bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just ho opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and he laughed when, he, when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. Because Santa is friendly. He's bringing toys. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. Look at him, going right back up the chimney. How do you think he does it? Magic. It's magic. Ah, and, and climbing. It's a, it's a good core. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. The end. Yay.